Are you a subject matter expert who struggles to speak with confidence? Are you losing career opportunities and feeling stuck because of your stage fear and nervousness during presentations? Isn't that affecting your happiness and your family's future? Welcome to The Confident Man Show with Mr. Bashal Sarkar, India's celebrity expert in practical public speaking, where he shows you how to speak with confidence, deliver rock-solid confident presentations in front of decision makers without any stage fear. Would you like to become The Confident Man, gain more respect, and enjoy a happy life? Then listen carefully because this is showtime. For knowing more about the upcoming practical public speaking courses and opportunities to get mentored by Mr. Bishal himself, go to bishalsarkar.com. Again, you can go to bishalsarkar.com. For more information about having a conversation with our team members about your situation, show starts now. Three, two, one, let's go. Welcome to the Confident Man Show and I am Anupama Chatterjee. Today we are speaking with Mr. Bishal Sarkar on mistakes. So we all are humans, we all make mistakes and we are talking about three stupidest mistakes even smart pros make in their PPT slides. Mm. So a lot of people, even though there's the smartest guys in the industry, they make mistakes and we are here to know from Bishal what are those. So Bishal, what is number one stupidest mistake? Well, before we talk about the number one stupidest mistake, I, stupidest mistake, I think um, people have to understand something. You see, um, your life depends on, your lifestyle today depends on where you want to be and what actions you're taking today. So as you know, I, I work with a lot of IT professionals, project managers, right. uh, bankers, technical experts, especially who are subject matter experts in their field, but they are not uh, having the right level of results in their life. So for right. example, maybe it's you, dear listener, maybe it's you. Maybe you are seeing increasing number of people who have less knowledge, less experience than you, but they get the promotion. They get the recognition. They win everyone's respect while you just sit back and clap for them. Deep inside, it makes you feel jealous, but it also makes your blood boil and makes you angry, but you also feel helpless because there is nothing you can do to stop them because they are confident speakers. So you just justify by saying, well, it's time for young people. But that's not the reality. The reality is it's for time for confident people because there is a revolution. The world is changing right now. Are you? The world is upgrading. Are you? The world is transforming. Are you? Because if you're not, you're going to be that dinosaur that people talk about. Once upon a time, there used to live Satish, who vanished. Why? We don't know, but he vanished, right? You don't want to do that. For, for not doing that, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to avoid the stupid mistakes that many people do. I, I have a challenge saying the stupidest. I, I say stupid debt or something like that. Maybe you know? because you're not stupid. Yeah, maybe because I'm not. Yeah, I'm certainly Maybe not. you are. <laughs> People who say I'm stupid are the real ones. All right. <laughs> We're talking about even smart pros yeah. make stupidest mistakes. Absolutely. So maybe you are the smart no, I, pro. I, I have made a lot of mistakes in my life. Like a lot of stupidest. I agree, me too. Every week I'm surprised at how stupid I was last week. Oh, really? You know what it means? I'm upgrading it myself every single week. So the number one mistake many people make is in their especially men make this mistake during their presentation slides. You know, they spend a lot of hours in creating their PowerPoint slides that make, I have to do this. But if you make this mistake, your senior manager will slap their forehead and think, hmm, I should not have come to this meeting. And that mistake is too much information on the slides. Have you ever seen that, Anupama? Yes. There are like people who are just have everything in the PPTs, they're just reading right. out the PPTs and that's all they're doing. That's all There's no the presentation, it's just a reading. It's just a reading and what they do is uh, they put a lot of, you know, a lot of texts and bullets and like, you know, like <laughs> I want to have a bullet in my chest versus seeing those so many bullets on the PPT slides. <laughs> so you, you don't want to do that because let me tell you this, the, I recently I was talking to one of the recent joinees of the Confident Expert Live Experience whose name is Raju, Raju Patel from Mumbai and he told me recently an event on the phone, he was saying, that Bishal, you know, about two years ago, I was in Qatar. I was giving a presentation. It was, you know, on site at client's place. And he said, Bishal, it was a disaster. Uh, I said, what do you mean disaster, Raju? He said, two years ago, I gave this presentation and it was not only not good, but I actually started um, panicking and I was reading from the slide. And I said, you still remember that event two years ago? It's still haunting you. He said, Bishal, it's still haunting me. So maybe you have given some presentation 
or made some bad first impression which is still haunting you and you feel nervous you feel anxious you feel weak you feel powerless you feel the fear of making mistakes but what you have to understand is the rule the guideline number 47 of the confident man the confident man guideline 47 which is you are the prize anupama you have to understand that when you go to the client the senior manager the boss the ceo the whoever the ppt is not the differentiator you are exactly you know you are it's not about the ppt and the photos and it's you, you it's you just email the ppt to all the people <laughs> that's right we don't even have to have the host meeting exactly if ppt was the differentiator you can say hey, you know what i'm not going to even come i want to save your time you can just watch the ppt while having the lunch you don't have to come to my presentation so you are the prize so when you are the prize yeah nothing else matters nothing else matters because so many people when they're mm-hmm. not strong ppt makers what happens is that they think oh my god i think i should have written more things in the ppt yeah. my ppt in fact, is not looking as much as good as the other guy so maybe <laughs> i'm going to lose out in the meeting and i think he's going to get the promotion uh, yeah and another thing i i i laugh at it they they write at slide called introduction <laughs> in the beginning the first slide is introduction the last slide is thank you <laughs> yeah like, yes, thank so, you everyone uh, for joining this and, meeting and it goes like this i'll tell you this so uh, these are the points and let me change the slide oh, oh yeah thank you and like they read the thank you like oh yeah i have to say thank you and uh, it, it's so so childish but let me tell you this anupama quickly there is a mistake that one of our clients who recently got a promotion with a 120% hike 120% hike so that's not 20% hike 120% so he was making 100 rupees now he's making 220 okay um used to, and he used to make this dumb mistake in the first 15 seconds of his presentation because one of the things i say is you have 7 to 15 seconds to make a first impression Always. and and this is something that we recently are dealing with in the confident man 90 minute breakthrough teaching people how to make the great first impression and one of the mistakes he always made that held his promotion for 28 months almost like two and a half years no promotion okay and the mistake is he will always used to start with good morning happy to be here today we are going to talk about this is this that's not right that's not right that that's very very poor i'll tell you why three things number one it's boring always number two it's needy and it's average okay everyone is there doing this it's going to be all yeah good morning happy it's almost like you know i am the servant you are the boss please like me please please give me a little bit and of hike and there are many people who are afraid to go out of the box exactly so there are many people who watch bishal saying this over and over again that mm-hmm. you should not start with good morning you should not say happy to be here and then when they think when they practice their presentation they think mm-hmm. oh my god i'm not going to say good morning Oh my god what are going to th- what are they going to think about me Yeah because they are afraid of the uh, of the disapproval from other people exactly. they're afraid of Exactly don't rely on approval of the audience when afra- you make a difference yeah. it's going to show They are afraid of <coughs> standing out that's why they fit in only You know they say why don't don't people respect me uh, have you done something worth being respected for No so you are getting exactly what everybody is getting because you're doing exactly what everybody is everybody is getting so i'll tell you a secret sauce that anybody can use right now in fact I, i'll tell you a uh, you know quick case study rajesh mahapatra you know one of the members who came to the confident expert live really experience experience he improved his confidence a lot then he joined the rule your life mastermind because he's like bishal i i like i am getting so much improvement just in your public speaking course i i wonder what like a real one on one mentorship with you would look like so he joined the rule your life mastermind which is not for everybody it's closed you can't join it you can't pay your way it's not pizza it's not chicken margarita pizza that you buy it's something you we allow you um to join if i really uh, have a space for you so rajesh mahapatra he improved a lot and one of the things he improved is learning how to really connect with an audience and previously he used to always start with ppts now he has a flip chart but he doesn't use it he starts with a question to the audience and makes it an interactive thing and as a result his life is improving confidence is improving his personal life his son his daughter his wife the personal happiness is improving and everything is the same the question i have for you dear listener is do you want similar results If yes, reach out to us and we can have a conversation with you and you can talk to Anupama whether you are a qualified person for being mentored by me to make you a confident speaker. So the secret sauce coming back to this Anupama, you ready? Yes, totally. The secret sauce, not the Maggie sauce. <laughs> the secret <laughs> sauce that makes your audience take you more seriously and listen to you without checking their phone 
like they do now. <laughs> it, it, by the way, it doesn't that happen many times? People speak and people assume somebody. Hello, I'll I'll just call you back in a minute. Yeah, yeah like, that's ha- that's happening. Why you even picking up the phone in that place? Because you're giving them a reason to. You're giving them a reason to. Would you pick up a call when you're speaking to Ashwarya Rai? You do, she's not giving you a reason to, right? <laughs> so you have to be attracted to three things. Number one, you want to understand the auditory part, your voice modulation, your voice tonality, the pitch, the tone, the volume, the pace, the speed, the depth. Everything has to be powerful. And we teach you that in the Confident Man Live Experience. Number two, the visual. You have to have the right body language because I always say it's body language is more powerful than spoken language. Okay, body language is more powerful than spoken language. And the third is kinesthetic. You want people to do something right there. Make them write something, make them raise their and make them say something you when you can create that synergy that can make more energy in the room you can always win because you're having the auditory the visual and a kinesthetic synergy in the room so everybody's listening to you that's when people will never listen or watch their mobile if you phone. want to know more about this go back to our previous show because we have spoken a lot about how to engage with the audience right right absolutely so the next thing we talk about right now is why chasing a promotion or respect is a wrong way to do and what to do instead i mean you know think about this right now like you know a lot of dogs for example they, you know they come to you like Dogs. I love dogs too, you know, but I don't like being one in life. Dogs come, give me a biscuit. They don't say, but you know that they are there. They want the biscuit. That's like chasing. They are chasing you. Tigers don't come to you asking for a biscuit. They eat you. <laughs> You know, that's why we respect tiger, get afraid of them more than the dog. We take pity on dog. We respect tigers. You don't respect a dog most often. You love them. You care for them. You don't respect a dog most often. But how to be the tiger versus being a pussycat? Very simple. The confident man guideline number 13. Losers chase, winners attract. You don't want to chase and a promotion. You don't want to chase a respect. You want to attract. So if you want to have honey, you can chase it or you can be. Uh, if, you, if, if, if you want bees, you know, honeybees to come to you. Yes. Be the honey. The honey doesn't go around chasing bees. Honey stays. Honey is sweet. It smells nice. It powerful thing for the bees. The bees come to you. So if you want to be that powerful person that industry leaders are chasing, people are chased. You want your boss to crawl over broken glass to give you the promotion letter? Be powerful. Be powerful in doing that. In everything you do, in your confidence, you know, walking, you're talking, your communication, your power, and people will chase you. How do I know? It's happening to me for the last few years, baby. So that's how it happens. The next thing we talk about quickly, is, and in fact, before the next thing, do you like wasting time, Anupama? I don't. I don't either. But sometimes I do unconsciously, right? But yes. let me tell you this. Like spending three hours, four hours, five hours for uh, in the PPT is a wasting of time. Why would you do that? What's the option? The option is to spend that time with your kid. The option is to spend that time with your wife. This option is to get more clarity in your life versus doing the Google search about more on how to make my PPT better. You become the prize, people will chase you. So I'll tell you this. This is the rule number, the guideline number 22 of the confident man, the confident man guideline number 22. At the end of our lives, we don't remember the numbers of our paychecks. We don't remember the size of our customer list. We don't even remember how many jeans and shoes and socks we had. We remember moments. Make sure you're creating some damn powerful moments to remember. It's better to spend the time with kids than to spend more time on email inbox. It's better to spend more time hugging your wife than to spend more time in the traffic signal bitching about life. And the final thing I want to end with today is this. Remember the most favorite quote I have about using PowerPoint slides. Would you like to hear that, Anupama? Yes. It came from Paolo Coelho. Have you heard, have you read the book, The Alchemist, by the way? Totally. You have? Yes. Did you like it? I loved it. In okay. fact, I'm reading another book of his right now. Which one? The Zahir? The Zahir. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's an amazing one. So he once said this line. It's going to make you crack up. And it's a humorous line. He said, you know, people who use PowerPoints, and somebody says who, he said, people who have no power and have no point. <laughs> That was always like, that's like the hilarious thing. And I think what he talks about is there is no point. It doesn't mean that you shouldn't use a PowerPoint, but you should have the power and the point and then use the PowerPoint. And that's how you can become a confident speaker. And if you want more information, if you want me to personally mentor you, which is not for everybody, but if you want to stop living an average life and live a confident life, reach out to Anupama today. All right. And now the final words for the day. The final, before we say the final words. So we are coming back next week again. And it's going to be an amazing journey. And the final words are always the same. It's always people know it. In fact, when I say it, people will say it with me and with you, Anupama. So the final words are public speaking is not about perfection. It's all about connection. connection. 
Congratulations for listening to today's show. If you're ready to become the confident man in your own life, go to bishalsarkar.com and apply for a conversation today. For that, go to bishalsarkar.com. All right, time for me to go. Have a confident day.